Well, my boss was needing a kidney, and I immediately told her that she could have one of mine just because it's part of who I am. I would do it for a lot of people, and certainly not for job security. I need to stress that. Um, I was living in Florida at the time. I came back to New York. I was coming back to New York and asked her if I could have my job back. She said, sure. Uh, I came back to work to help her with some year-end tasks. The kidney donor that she had, uh, the potential donor that she had was denied by the hospital and she called me into her office and asked if I was serious when I said that she could have one of mine. And Of course I was. That's nothing to joke about. Um, and I started the process to become a donor for her. It was very lengthy, a lot of uh, testing, CAT scans, blood work, x-rays, things like that. And the results that came back was that I really was in perfect health and so I was more than happy and honored to do this for her. Um, and I spoke to Jackie um, a couple of weeks after the surgery and she really made me feel bad that I wasn't recuperating quick enough. Um, I had gone to see the surgeon for a two and a half week follow up and he told me that I was doing just fine and I shouldn't concern myself with how other people were healing, that it was an individual process. But she continued to just make me feel really guilty about still being in pain, you know, almost as though I was like um, just over dramatizing the whole thing. I went back to work on September 6th and I, it really was too early. Um, I did my best to, to make it through the days. By the third day, I just had had enough. I was nauseous. I, I was so tired. And I tried to reach her. She was recuperating at home. Um, she wasn't available, so I let other coworkers know that I was leaving. And I no sooner walked in the door when my phone rang, and it was her asking me what on earth I was doing at home. Why wasn't I at work? And I told her that I did not feel well. And um, she said, you know, you cannot just come and go as you please. People are going to think you're getting special treatment. You know, this is like, this is a little ridiculous. Whatever, you know, I hung the phone up with her, and I just, I, I, I laid down. I, I just could not believe, first of all, that she was saying it to me, but I wasn't, I just didn't, I wanted to forget that she said it to me. Um, shortly thereafter, she returned to work at, at the auto mall, and it began there, you know, just accusing me of doing things that I had no idea were, were even happening, um, just constantly, you know, yelling at me all day, every day, and it just got explosive. It got explosive when, after the surgery, during the surgery, they, they had touched a nerve, so I have, like, what is a neuropathy in one of my legs. And I do have to walk. I have to walk um, just to, you know, keep the leg active. And I told her that I was going to go outside and just walk around the building. We were, it was New Year's Eve day, and we were having um, a holiday party that the company was, you know, had thrown for all of its employees a brunch. And um, people were celebrating and, and partying, and I said, you know, I'm going to go for a walk outside. And she exploded. She exploded. I mean, it was just so bad. I, I cannot express to any of you how it felt for me to have her screaming at me like that when I said, Jackie, you know why I have to go outside and walk, you know, my leg. And she said, well, it sounds like a personal problem. And I said, well, you know what, it is a personal problem because I had surgery, I had a kidney removed. And she just went ballistic and I couldn't help myself. I, I felt like someone had ripped my heart out. I, I just, I started, I started to cry.